Hello, our loves. This is Joanne and Elizabeth from World's Cup of Joe, Awaken Your Soul. Today's topic is so perfect. It's exactly what so many of you have been asking for, and we knew it would be the right fit for the last day of our Christmas in July special. You guys all know how much we love all of you, and we wanted to give you an opportunity to take advantage of our products, our calls, to shift you deeper in your journey. So this is the chance to really choose you. This is a chance for you to get deep and know that you've got this. Now let's get really, really deep into this topic, love. This channel for your twin flame connection to help you balance this cray cray. And I, when I say cray cray, that's an understatement because this journey is effing crazy, my love. But we got you, me and Elizabeth, are both in permanent relating experiences with our twin flames. Both of our twins are permanently in our lives and we're balancing this connection every day along with helping so many beautiful souls do the same. This journey is crazy, but my love, it's also so freaking beautiful. And we love helping beautiful souls shift in the, their journey. And if you don't know where to start or you don't know where to look for just starting to feel better because this journey is hard, or if your person's not reaching out, let's say your person has you blocked or your person's running from you. If you're not in communication, I would say start with our 30 day twin flame detox program. That program, my loves, the 30 day twin flame detox program is life changing. It is life changing. It will literally hold you your hand step by step in getting into this place of soul and releasing the addictive energy. So many beautiful souls work the detox and their person comes in even way before they finish 30 day detox. So if you are lost and you are not in communication, that is where I would definitely start. If you are in communication and you're balancing your person, but there is this push and pull happening or they come in and they come out and you're looping, or they come in and you just don't know what to do. I would say definitely do our ultimate balancing program where you can balance each connection from the first text, the first date, the first intimate experience, all the way to relating, correlating experience where me and Elizabeth are both at. So welcome to all of you beautiful souls who's found us this is your home for balanced energy, my dear. And we will continue to guide you in this cray cray, beautiful journey. This question that we have here is so common for so many of you that are trying to balance this connection. Let's go ahead and dive deep. I hope you guys can feel these shifts because me and Elizabeth are high vibing, my love. This is an exclusive detailed topic that we really want to get deep on there is a specific question from one of your soul fam that it's such a common question especially with trying to navigate and balance social media with your twin flame we felt we needed to really get deep on this question for all of you so this beautiful soul is in communication with her person and they had requested that they just communicate via email or with um, in specific platforms and asked if they can uh, remove them from other social media and continue to communicate via email and uh, so on. So this beautiful soul is asking if they can ask for transparency, if they can set boundaries because they're worried that their person might be trying to hide something or they're seeing someone and so this beautiful soul is asking like how do i balance this because there's so much fears that are coming up for her so let's get really deep in this because oh my goodness love so much came for us when we were trying to navigate this in the beginning so we want you guys to all shift with us i had love okay here's the question I don't know whether I should keep continuing to be in communication with my person or not. He has been emailing me after some days. Now, when I read his emails, he said that I should block him in every other social media. 
and the mind gets triggered and angry with him for saying that. The mind is suspicious that something is going on in his life that he doesn't want to share with me. Of course, my mind immediately goes to the story of be him being with someone else and why does he want to block me to block him everywhere unless there's something he wants to hide from me. Mine gets very triggered by that and I don't know how to forgive him for that. I cannot have an expectation of him changing, but I can set, set boundary, right? Hold on, Joan, I want to sort of start off with this one because this is bringing up a lot of actual um, energies for me, this question in and of itself. And I love this beautiful soul so much. Okay. We've worked with so I, I love I, the person who wrote this question. You know how much I love you, how much I adore you. But this question has so much mind energy in it. And I say that because when I read it, I feel myself back in the days of me having to know what my person was doing and saying on Facebook and on Twitter, especially. And there's this part of this question we sort of summarized. We, we read most of it, but there is a part of the question that wasn't read that was saying that I can expect transparency from my person, correct? And I, I really wanna address that because when you're in this connection and you're balanced, there's no need for what the mind would say is transparency because transparency is like, I need to know that you're doing such and such. It's an external projection of what you what the mind wants because when your soul your observer you don't care you're focused on yourself at all times that you don't need to know what your person is thinking doing and feeling because it's irrelevant so for example when i hear this question and it's like well i need to be i need to know that there's transparency and i can go on his social media and i could see what he says and the very act of him saying block me on there is him hiding something well that's a story you're already creating a story saying he's hiding something from you and i know this because i created those stories in my head with my person and when at the end of the day i remember when i tried um before i was balanced but we were in separation and i tried well i stalked him and i found him on twitter um with a new account and he had already pre-blocked me and when I went and I asked him, I was so angry with him. Why did you block me on Twitter? And he said, why would I want you stalking my every word that I write? And it stung. It stung. It was so painful. But that moment is literally what snapped me out of ever going back on Twitter again. Because it was like, he's right. He doesn't deserve me following everything he says. Because that focus was so much push on him, knowing everything he said, everything he did. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be listening to this and you're not, the mind's not gonna like hearing this because the mind wants to control. But the yeah. reality of this connection is, when you're aligned with soul, anything your person's thinking, doing, or feeling is irrelevant to you because if you're thinking about what they're thinking, doing, and feeling, then your focus is not on you and it's now on them. And it's on the physical 3D version of them. So when I say, you don't need transparency. Okay, I wake up every day. My person's still on Twitter. He's still writing things. I don't need to know what he's writing. I know how I feel. I feel every day I wake up and I have no addictive energy in regards to what he's writing or posting on his social media accounts. I don't need to know what he's doing. I don't need to know what he's saying. I don't need to know what he's thinking. Why? Because those things are not him. I am the oneness of the energy within him, with me. We are one in the energy. I don't need to know what his physical mind or body is doing. I know that every day he wakes up next to me. I know every day he goes to bed next to me. I know every day that I am balanced and I'm focused on me and he comes to me for peace. When there is this need to know what they're thinking, doing and feeling, there's a part of us that's in fear mode. If you're saying I need transparency, that's all mind because the mind is the one that creates the stories, that creates the fears that they're doing something that the mind wouldn't be happy with, that the mind would be upset with. When in actuality, your soul, you're the observer. As long as you're feeling you need transparency, you're now identifying as the mind and you're stepping out of your role as soul. And so I really want to share that. And like I said, a lot of you guys are going to listen to this. You're not going to like it. And there's going to be a story. And I'm here to tell you, my loves, the stories are mine. The stories are 
irrelevant because they are mined. If you want this connection to thrive, you have to be in a position where you release the stories, you surrender to your soul, and you trust that you can be the observer of this connection rather than the one who's trying to manipulate it through mind. The way you have a thriving twin flame connection is you align with the part of you that is not mind, that is your one shared soul energy, which is love energy. It needs nothing in return. I need nothing from my person. I don't need to know what he's posting on social media. I don't need him to tell me he loves me. I don't need him to do things for me. Why? Because I am love. I am love within. He is my shared soul energy. The physical of what he is doing, thinking, and feeling is irrelevant to me because as long as I make it relevant, then therefore I'm in mind and I'm no longer identifying as part of me. That is our oneness. That is our 5D element that is shared together. I really want you guys to hear this. This is this is some deep levels of shifting into higher levels of consciousness right here. This is stuff they're not going to tell you on other channels that are keeping you focused on the addictive energy. We're not going to do that here. We're teaching you how to shift out of the addictive energy because we want you with your person. We want you in harmonious, thriving, amazing connections. And you can only do that by releasing the mind's need to know what your person is thinking, doing, and feeling because that's where the intention is on them and it's no longer on yourself. That's the energy that pushes. We want you in the energy that magnetizes, which is, how do I feel? That's why I don't look at Twitter anymore because looking at Twitter made me feel gross. That's why I don't look. It's not because of anything my person is doing. It's because how it made me feel. You were gifted with this guidance system of energy. You're using this guidance system of energy now to every day work on raising your vibration up. Oh, I'm in this place of jealousy or insecurity or fear. All those questions were very fear-based. You're listening and feeling into those fear-based energies and you're saying, how do I raise myself up into this place of neutrality? Because once you're in this place of neutrality, I guarantee you, you don't care what your person's posting. You're not even looking because it's irrelevant yeah, yeah. to you because the focus is not on them anymore. It's on you and how you're feeling. And as soon as you deviate from that, you're going to use that guidance system as a way to say, "Uh oh, I don't feel right doing that anymore. I'm going to close out that social media. This is why we tell you guys to close out leaks. It's not because we don't want you to know what your person is doing. It's because the focus is not on your person. It's on you. Mm -hmm. And how is it making you feel? Go ahead, love. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. But the, no, this, I, like I, I said, I, this, I this felt question, you, love. It's so good. This question, so good. this question brought up so much within me. It brought up so much of my past. And my love, the person who asked this question is so far beyond this addictive energy. And I want to call yeah. out the addictive energy because I felt it, because I felt myself a few years back in this question and all of the things that this person was asking and feeling was so identifying as mind and not as this beautiful soul that she is. Go ahead, love. Yeah. What I want to say is because your person is, is creating space between you and the addictive energy. That's what I'm hearing. I know you're not hearing that because you're not looking at it through energy right now. You're seeing it through fear-based energy and you're seeing it as a story in the 3D. But me and Elizabeth are always looking at the level of energy. Okay. So I want you guys all to feel this because this is exactly how the connection works. Your person comes in your space when you're in soul. When you're in soul, your person's right there. Your person will never stop wanting, seeking, being in your space. They just are gravitated in. And even if they're not consciously doing that, as soon as you're in alignment with soul and you surrender, your person's brought in, right? They, they're brought in. So you run into them, you see them, you hear from them. Someone talks about them. You're, you're having signs and synchronicities about them. All of the alignments of the universe is conspiring and bringing your person in as soon as you get into the space of soul. So those that are balancing, and when Elizabeth said, you're not going to find this kind of stuff in a, any other channel, 
this is high level balancing information we're sharing with you guys. This is secrets in the twin flame connection that a lot of people who's not even in the state yet, this space to balance are able to share. Not only that, they might, if there is a twin flame that is balancing, they're not sharing it so that you can get it. They want it to be in an exclusive rate that can't be given and shared to just anyone unless they spend a lot of money and, and do a lot of crazy things that you don't have to do with us. You just have to subscribe to Cup of Joe and receive these truths. <laughs> That's how we give it to you, my loves. We give it to you right in your morning cup of joe we're gonna share these truths because we want you to shift in your journey when elizabeth said we want you to be with your twin flame that is not an understatement we really genuinely want as many people to be with their twin flame and when you are with your twin flame you're not going to care about social media you're not going to care what they're doing thinking and feeling you're so focused into what you're doing thinking feeling and your focus in your own alignment with soul so whatever your person is saying about social media, they're sharing with you and how they can interact with you based on your energy. That's what they're sharing. So when Elizabeth's person blocked her on Twitter, right? She went cray cray and was like looking at every person that he's followed. And how many people was that? A thousand um, for this one person that you found your person through, Lev? Okay, so I'll back up a little bit. So my person, when he, the, this all happened the week he left, the week separation started, he got blocked on Twitter and he told me he was not going to make another account. Well, once he left, my mind went crazy again, right? And it was like, I know he's on Twitter. I need to find it. I need to see what he's posting. So I specifically looked up an author that he followed who had over 4,000 um, followers. And I started going through all 4,000 of those followers. And lo and behold, that's how I found my person because he had the same profile picture. And I found his um, new created profile. And then I went to follow him and it said, you've been blocked. And I was like, what? He already blocked me on this new account like before. <laughs> and th so here's what I'm saying though. Hold on, hold on. Because at that moment right there, I I, I told myself, we'll create, a, create another profile and go and follow him now that you know his handle, his handle name. And I told myself right now there, then and there, I was like, no, I feel disgusting. I will never do this. I mean, I shouted at him and I was like, how could you block me and blah, blah, blah. But the mind of the course was already thinking of an alternate route to be able to stalk him, right? It was like, we'll go create another account he, you know, because he, you can't, he can't block a new account and until he knows that who I am, but I chose right then and there, I drew a line in the sand with myself. And I said, I will never feel this way again. And from that day forward, I took off Twitter and I never went back on. I never put the app back on my phone and I will never, and I truly mean that I will never go back into his profile and see what he's writing, who he's following, who's following him ever again ever again from that moment forward so we all have choices and that's my point of this talk right here is i had a choice to be conscious or to let the mind rule that day i had a choice to deep dive into the addictive energy and create a fake account and follow him on that fake account to see and stalk or i chose me and that's what i did i chose me and i said i will never feel this way again because i feel gross i never want to feel this way again and this is what i'm saying to all of you guys my loves when you really feel into the energy that's spiking this question, when it talks about, you know, I don't like this and I don't like that. And this is making me not trust. And those are you issues. They're not about your person. They're you issues. You're creating stories in your head. You're creating the stories that he wants to be with someone else, that he has another thing going. You're creating these things. And as long as you're creating those stories, you're pushing that energy onto him. So it's not surprising that he's saying, don't follow me on social media. Because when you're following him on social media, you're in mind. You're not in soul. Go ahead, love. <laughs> no, it's true. It's it's. Um, it reminds me of this uh, beautiful soul we talked to yesterday. What I even want to say is your person shouldn't have to tell you to unfollow him everywhere. You should have done that on your own because you're so done with the addictive energy of having to see them. You're done with the having to find out what they're doing, thinking, feeling. This spiritual badass that we talked to yesterday said, 
I don't, I can't be in, in the social media with my person. I have to let them go everywhere else. And they keep texting me, right? We'll really feel into that spiritual badass message right there. I cannot share social media with my person because I know if I'm sharing social media with them, I know the addictive energy is going to want to stalk. I know the addictive energy is going to want to see what they're doing, thinking, feeling. So I'm going to have to set boundaries within myself. Yes. Within yourself. Hold yes. on, Joanne. Hold on. This is this is the same thing. So here, my person had blocked me on Twitter because I had stalked everything they did. And this is the same person that now every day must, he must send me between five and 10 Twitter messages every single day. And he has for the last few years because there's now this understanding that I will never stalk again. Yeah. I go in, I see what his messages are. And as soon as I'm in that message, I then close out Twitter. It, I, I don't need, like I said, I've never put the app back on my phone. I literally just go into the message he sends, read what the article is that he's sending me and I get out. So the same yeah. person who blocked me years it's ago not... is now sending me 10 messages a day from that same platform because there's no worry of yeah. that addictive energy. So when we say that this is not forever, your leaks are mm -hmm. not necessarily Correct. have to be forever. They're until you Correct. balance what's in them. But that doesn't mean that I can go and put Twitter back on my phone and I can go and start looking at his profile. That would ignite that addictive energy right back up. You set boundaries, what you just said, Joanne, you're setting boundaries within yourself. I know I can go into one specific message and not leak and then mm -hmm. get out. But you have to gauge your energy. This is the individual yeah. gauge and it doesn't mean that it's sort of like listening to a song at the beginning. It might bring up a lot of addictive energies. And then a year from now, you might be able to listen to that song and not leak anymore. You're gauging your own individual leaks and what's spiking the energy. And you're starting to listen to the resonance of, OK, I'm balanced enough in this to be in it a little bit longer or to do. But as soon as that energy starts spiking, you also have to be with the resonance enough to say, you know what, I need to back away from this. It's not, it's not, it's yeah. not making me my best and highest self. I think your person is able to share with you how the addictive energy is being felt on the other side because some twins don't even tell their twin, hey, you need to block me on these outlets and I, I can only communicate with you via text or I can only communicate with you via email. That's your twin flame telling you you're balanced. You're balanced enough for me to share with you that I want to stay in your space, but you're not balanced enough for me to stay in your space. And it's only based on your energy sometimes, right? Because there's twins and you know, this beautiful soul said it in the question before, they couldn't talk for years, right? So there's twins where their person has to block them because the addictive energy is so much that they can't communicate, they can't interact, I'm out. I'm out because you're pushing. The addictive energy is so much. And so how does that work? How does that work? How does that energetically work? I want you guys to feel this. You are one shared soul. There are two polarities. There's one polarity that is the positive polarity. And then there's the polarity that's the negative polarity. But you're one shared soul, right? So how does the polarities get activated? Why does the positive polarity, the, the chaser, the push, why does that energy push towards your twin flame, the divine masculine, the negative polarity? How did that activation even happen if you're one shared soul? Well, once soul recognition happened, the one shared soul splits into the two polarities. You as the divine feminine push, the divine masculine pulls. Well, your energy pushes, your energy pushes, and your energy pushes. And then we're reminding you to pull your energy back in, to bring it back to you, to make this journey about you. And that divine masculine that is being pushed out is drawn back in. And so your person is saying, I want you in my space when you're in soul. You're not hearing that, but that's what I'm hearing because I always hear the message based on energy. I'll always look at the energy. And we have beautiful souls that say, I want to contact my person. I want to contact my person. Why is it he can contact me whenever he wants? I should be able to contact him whenever I want. And this is what you're asking, essentially. It's the same thing. I want transparency. I want to be able to balance this connection like a soulmate. And this is not a soulmate connection. So hold on, Joanne. It's also saying, I want to do. 
Like literally that's what oh, that, like, I want to sure. do. And we're saying, no, you have to be, yeah. that's all you can. You have to be in this connection and not do. Why does the mind care what your person is doing, thinking, and feeling? Really feel into that and release that. Your person is able to communicate with you what is happening between the energy. Your person is telling you, I cannot be around you when you're in addictive energy. I need you to not follow me on these things because they're putting me, it's putting me in a place where I can't interact with you anymore. You need to ask yourself why you're more balanced in the texting and email versus social media. What's happening within you when you're in social media where you're stalking, looking, seeking, figuring out what they're doing, thinking, feeling versus in the email and text. That's the deepest. It sounds like the the external people are creating the story. Like the stories are being created because of the the other people. Yeah. With someone else, blah, 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 blah. And that will always be an issue if it's an issue for you. So you got to go within and ask yourself, what is it within me that keeps seeing my person separate and keeps staying in that jealous scale of consciousness? Because honestly, my person can be in any platform in social media. And I, I have to balance which forms I can stay on without being in addictive energy, just like Elizabeth she can have the Twitter in her messages. Well, guess what? My Facebook, my Instagram, I think most of those things are muted, not only for my person, like I I really don't care about that anymore, but for other people, I don't want other people's stories. I don't want other people's energy. I really want to just harness my own energy. But my person sends me a lot of like messages, videos, things like that in the messages. So I will get the alerts. And I just told a beautiful soul yesterday, I don't think I've opened a lot of them or responded or watched a lot of them. I'll only do it when I'm ready for whatever he's sending me. And sometimes he'll tap me in the shoulder and be like, did you watch that video? And I'm like, I'll watch it when I'm ready. And that's really what we become in this connection is we now are selfish with our energy, not only with other people, but also with our person. We are selfish with harnessing our own energy and balancing our person. Your person should not have to tell you which social media that you can interact with. You should be doing that within yourself. I can interact with them in Twitter, right? Like Elizabeth, I can't interact with them in Twitter because I know I push. Same with you. I want you to feel into each of the social medias and what is it within you that gets ignited to be able to push why is it that you want to stalk their instagram or twitter or facebook whatever what is it within you that does put you in push mode and focusing on what they're doing thinking feeling your person is able to hold on joanne something just came to me something just came to me right now you need to ask yourself you need to look back and see where you were at with any kind of responses because why did the person just randomly say like i want you to not follow me what was your role in that was there something that was said was there something that was mentioned in a conversation was there something that was mentioned in an email by you to them regarding your stuff because that's why my person didn't like when i was on to because i would always bring up stuff he had said so where was your role where was your energy what was that side of things too yeah like her person said, well, why would I want somebody to be in social media with me and they're stalking me? <laughs> the, 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 I think that's a valid question. Why would I want you to keep sending your energy to me when I just want peace? Your person wants you to be at peace. And in order for you to be at peace, you have to release the ways you're seeing them separate. And so, yes, my love, you can keep stalking them. You can keep looking at their social media or you could get into soul and not give an F of what the mind is trying to seek and receive from the social media outlets, from looking to try to figure out what they're doing, thinking, feeling. Because hearing this, I would be like, okay, I don't give an F. I really don't give an F. Soul doesn't give an F what your person's doing. Soul doesn't give an F what your person's thinking or feeling. Soul doesn't give an F where they are, what they're doing is mine. 
mine gives an F, mine cares, mine has a story and mine wants to know all the answers when soul just is. And that is soul. Soul is faith. Soul is love. Soul is knowing that you are everything. And I wish them the F love because I know that I am enough. Our people in our space, our loves, and we want you guys to feel this. Our people in our space, they are with us because the energy is so balanced, right? There is not a bone in me that has to check his social media. There's not a bone in me that has to figure out what's in his phone. I know it's there. I have the password. I don't go into it. I know his social media. I know that it says we're together in it, but I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what pictures he's posting or his tagging or his stories. I don't care anymore. And that's why I'm tied in his pictures because I get alerts in them because I'm no longer looking. The more you stop caring, the more you will get more of your person. The less you allow things to come between you and your person in these outlets, the more there will be boundaries between the addictive energy because that's what your person is giving you. They're giving you boundaries with addictive energy. You're in addictive energy when you're in Twitter, Elizabeth. So for that, I'm blocking you, <laughs> right? That's what happened to Elizabeth during separation. And now her person, it, didn't that happen, love, when you were balance, balancing your person? I think one day he was like, oh, I sent you a message on Twitter and you're like, oh, uh, you have me blocked there. And he was like, what? Oh, let me unblock you. See, do you see how it's not forever? Do you see how you can have back that outlet and form when your energy is balanced, my love? Exactly. Yeah, so there is this place where all of the things that you had to close your leaks, they're not forever. They're not forever. It's not forever. There's a reason why when we do the detox, there's a specific day in there where we want you to be available when the energy is ready to be balanced. We want you to balance your person. We don't want you to run from your person. We don't want you to hide from your person. We want you to balance your own energy in your connection. When your person is sharing with you that the addictive energy is too much and I need you to allow me to balance, I need you to set boundaries between the connection by paying attention to your energy. So that is what you're being asked for right now, my love, is to balance your own energy, focus on you, and try to make sure that you are gauging yourself throughout all of your doing. And when you see yourself stalking and doing those things, well, there's a reason why you're out of that platform. I was already out of that platform. I didn't need that platform. Just like with my person, I don't need to see that relationship status, right? Married, um, in a relationship, tagged. I don't need that. And I have it because I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm not looking for it. But I have it. I have it because I don't want it. I have it because I don't care about it. Just like Elizabeth. I have Twitter access to me but I'm so balanced in my energy that I keep that same boundaries within myself of the addictive energy, right? She's choosing to stay balanced. She's choosing to watch her energy in her conversations with her person. And that's why he sends her all those Twitter messages and she's able to open it, balance it, and look at it. Because those are you balancing your own leak my love. That's what you're doing. I'm going to balance my own leaks. And for that, I need to be able to catch myself in the addictive energy and all of these other platforms. And I choose me. I choose myself so much that I don't even want any of these platforms if they put me in addictive energy. Yeah, just, go ahead. I was just thinking of something because I just, I'm trying to put myself back in that place where you were saying um, when he came back and he sent me a message and I was like, I can't see this because you blocked me. And he was like, oh, let me unblock you. So right then, right then was a very pivotal moment in my balancing, in my balancing. And I say that because when he unblocked me, I had those two choices again. I had the choice of, okay, no, he now has unblocked me and I can go in or I, I can continue to be balanced. 
And I chose at that moment to be balanced. And guess what? We always say that your soul keeps bringing you the same thing until you balance it and then you get more. Well, right then around that same time when he said, oh, I'll unblock you and he did unblock me, that's when it became more and more of, hey, I want to see you more. Hey, let's go out more. Hey, come over and watch shows with me more. Hey, let's find a farmhouse out of state together. It was all of those things. And I truly believe now looking back during this conversation, Joanne, that it was me being able to balance my biggest leap, which was Twitter, at that moment and say, I'm going to stay where I do not go in stock, that I was able to get more. The universe gave me my biggest leap. It, ha- it served it on a platter for me. Here, I'm going to unblock you. And I chose to stay balanced. And in return, we're buying a house together. And we were moving out of state mm-hmm. together. My point is, if you can't balance your biggest leaks, the universe can't bring you more. Your soul can't bring you more. It's going to keep looping in the same thing to see when you can finally balance that big leak. Yeah. You can release your biggest leak. I would even say for all of you who's listening right now, you already know what your biggest leak is. You already know what your biggest leak is because it's the same thing that you were leaking on when you were in addictive energy. And so whatever that leak is, you can let it go. You can let it go. You can say goodbye to it. You can let it go and fully trust that this connection is what it is. This connection is energetic. You are in a twin flame connection. This person is your soul. They feel you energetically. When you push, they pull. When you pull in your energy, they come right back in. So what do you do? What do you do when it comes to leaks? What do you do when it comes to these platforms that you're tugging on to, you're holding on to, you're clinging to, to try to figure out what they're doing, thinking, feeling? It's the very platform things, leaks, that your soul is asking you to let go release why was it so instant that elizabeth released twitter and her person wants to live with her why is it that we have this beautiful soul that had such a huge leak they finally released the leak like released it said bye to it they ran into their person in a party the next day it was like literally the next day they had no idea they were going to see their person they ran into their person you're never going to prepare for the balancing It's literally the universe bringing the exact experience to show you, am I really serious about closing this leak? Do I really choose me? Do I really trust and surrender to soul? Or am I going to be stuck and loop in this addictive energy and continue to stalk? Because Elizabeth was given the platter of, um, there's like two hands, right? One with addictive energy, more of it, right? Or one where it's balanced and the balance one requires conscious energy for sure because even though it's not as fun to the mind it requires conscious effort to stay balanced even now in a permanent relating experience she's still choosing to just keep messages and not look at twitter that is conscious it sounds boring to the mind But how fun is that though? Really now balance looking at that. I can't believe we got a kick out of watching our people's social media because there's nothing that he could. The thought is so gross to me now. Like I I can't even imagine going back to that. There's nothing that he can post that will now take me out of my peace. It doesn't even matter. that's, That's when we say your intention has to be so freaking pure and focused on self. Because I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm not going to lie. There were a couple instances shortly after he unblocked me where the mind started saying, you can go and check. You can go and check. Why don't you see what he's up to? Why it started doing that? And it spiked up that energy. I felt into how gross that felt. And I said, I will never do this. And I didn't. I didn't go. But the mind wanted to. It really, really wanted to. And I used that addictive energy, that gross feeling to guide me into saying no and saying it is not worth my peace. There is nothing that he could have written. I don't care who he wrote to. I don't care who he followed or who followed him that was worth me getting out of this place of self-love and peace 
to go and see that. There was nothing. Ultimately, there was nothing. And so I chose me and I've chosen me every single day since. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing that my person can post or show or do that will get me to a place where it takes me out of my peace and it's worth out of my peace. None. And so what I would say to you, this beautiful soul who's asking, so what? Like all the social media, I'm not in any of them. I'm not in any of them. I think they're there. There's some of them I can't even log into anymore because the social media, all of it is fake anyway. All of it is just a story. It's a story in a way for the energy to go into and leak. It's a story and energy in ways that we have to now know how to balance. So if you can find your way to each outlet and feel into which ones you're more balanced in, then maybe you don't have to block your person in some of those things. The reason why he's asking you to is because you're an addictive energy in almost all of them. That's the reason. He could have just blocked you in all of them, but he's asking you to do it because he wants to be able to communicate with you when he's ready. He wants to be able to communicate with you with your balanced energy. Why is it that the emails and texts are all he can give you right now? Well, because that's the only thing you're able to balance. Once you can release and let go of your person and all of it, even the text and the messages, you already know this beautiful soul knows. Once you can let go of all of it, he finds you in another way, in another form. It's always going to be played out the same way. Where is my energy? How am I leaking in this energy and how do I level up? How do I level up? How do I get into the next state where I'm no longer attached? How do I get to a state where I'm no longer looking or seeking my person so I can really go within and make this journey about me? Because like I said, my love, there's nothing on the internet that can ever take my peace about my person. Nothing. There's nothing that he can ever do, say. There's nothing he can do, think and feel that will take me out of my peace. Man, that feels so good to say. Because that's all we ever wanted was what they were doing, thinking, feeling. And now just that very answer of what is my person doing, thinking, and feeling, I don't care because I'm so tune into me and my energy. How am I doing? How am I thinking? How am I feeling at this moment? Where's my energy at? That is my question every day for the rest of my life now. And our mind is constantly programmed to look at them, see them separate, figure them out. But soul is everything. And so you need to go within and keep aligning with everything that you are, my love. And you will have more access to your person. Your person will ask you to add you back on certain platforms, almost all of them. They will. They're going to say, hey, depending on your energy, hey, add me on this, add me on this. Where are you? I've been trying to talk to you all day. But every single time you start going back to mine and start looking at the stories, start trying to figure out what they're doing, thinking, feeling, they're going to want you to be as far away as possible from the addictive energy. So let it go, align with you, align with soul, and let your person come to you. There is no doing here. That is doing, trying to do, look, speak, find out more information, right? When Elizabeth had to search 4,000 people to find her person, that's a lot of doing. He was nowhere in her space, <laughs> right? <laughs> nowhere near <laughs> her space. <laughs> I want to say that the mind is sort of in this question, the mind is sort of saying, well, it, it, it's trying to trick you and saying, it's really just for transparency's sake, right? It's not that I want to stalk or anything. It's just because I want them to be transparent with me. So even the mind is creating this like false narrative because the reality is they don't owe you anything. Our people don't owe us anything. Like there's this thing like they need to do, 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 do this, to, that's a preference and an expectation, but they don't owe us anything. They're not, like the moment you can have them completely, like seriously, heart, soul, body, mind. You have the whole being of them. Is the moment you don't need any of them. I don't need my person's soul. I don't need because I am his soul. I don't need his body. I don't need his mind. I don't need any of that. But he offers it to me daily because I don't need it. But the moment you think that you're owed something and 
owe, being owed the transparency. I know a lot of the mind, again, you guys are listening to this and saying, well, of course I deserve honest and this and that. But truly, your people become exactly what you want them to be when you shift your interactions and your dynamic and your energy towards them. They give you everything. They give you heart, body, mind, and soul. They give you it all. They give you honesty. My person, when I was in addictive energy, couldn't be honest with me. He omitted a lot of stuff in our conversation. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, he'll tell me everything. He's like, so for you, he's calling me all the time and give, like offering up all this stuff. And I'm just like, why are you even telling me this? Like, I don't, yeah. I don't even know this. And it's yeah. because they, they do everything that the mind wanted, needed, desired mm -hmm. when you don't need it anymore. Yeah, they're actually giving you more than you ever wanted now that you don't need it. I, like I said, I have access to everything in a silver platter. He's giving it to me. And the old me that used to leak, and this is the old me that used to stalk my person. <laughs> I don't mind admitting that my addictive energy was so bad that I, too, was doing the same thing that you guys were. I, I shoot, I totally resonate with that crazy cray cray. I need to figure out what they're doing. I need to figure out what they're thinking. I need to figure out what they're feeling. That's why people get into tarot and, and, and um, psychic because they really, really want to understand what their person's going through. But that's literally separation consciousness. The the maximum yeah, it's energy. On, it's focusing mm -hmm. on the mind and the body and it's totally out of out of line with the soul. It's, it's not anything yeah. to do with soul. And then when you're in soul, your person gives you everything. My person gives me access to everything that the mind's ever wanted. And now that I have it, because I'm soul, I don't care. I don't want it. I'm not looking for it. I didn't need that information. I don't need this information. I don't need this validation. I don't need this confirmation because I am you. I am you, you are me, we are one, and I need nothing from you to know that we are one. That's disconnection. That is disconnection at its finest, my love. You are your person. The part of you that sees your person's body and mind is still not you, that is mind. You're whole, you're complete, you are one now. And all those things that see them separate are a leak, are separation consciousness. You have to align with the oneness that is, and that is your soul. This video is so deep. Every video we make is so deep. It's just so deep. There's just no video that's just like, oh, here's a really generic video, guys. Good luck. No. <laughs> here's you guys have all so my I love. Want to know you've all shifted to the stage with us because yeah. you know we were not making videos like this a year no, ago. We, we shift weren't. together. Uh -uh. We're raising our level of consciousness together. Together for sure. It's a collective for, for sure. We were not in this energy. The truth is going to set us all free. So we'd rather share the truth with all of you, even if it hurts, even if it sucks to hear. We want to share the truth because the truth is bigger and deeper than the false truth, than the illusion, than the, the fake, the fake answers to your truth. We, me and Elizabeth want to give you all of the truth so that you can shift in the best and highest capacity that your soul is allowing to show you allowing you to see, allowing you to be guided to, to get deeper and deeper into this place where your person is balanced daily, but is not the focus. We will always take the attention and focus out of your person and back to you. And we hope you can capture, feel, and see all of these shifts that are being given to you in a higher level of consciousness, because you are all ascending with us, my love. We're all in this together and we're all balancing together. The questions, see, that's how you know it's getting deeper because the questions we get are even deeper too, right, love? It's like deep level work. The questions we start getting from you, beautiful souls, is like, my person's here. I need to balance this. Why are they contacting me? Why are they asking me? And me and Elizabeth know. We already know. We went through all that crap and we know how to maintain and sustain the energy of soul through that crap, all of that stuff, we know. And so when we share it with you, we don't wanna BS you. We don't wanna hide the truth. We wanna be upfront, honest, 
so we can save you all no, the we heart. We want to give you we want to give you the message that will actually allow you to be with your person. Yeah. Doing it any other way is doing you guys a disservice and is going to keep sure. you looping in addictive energy. We want to be no matter how hard it is for the mind to hear, we want to tell you straight up like hey like me calling yeah. out this beautiful soul who I love so much. Hey, you're an addictive energy. Yep. Is because I want you to snap out of the addictive energy. I want your consciousness to overtake the subconscious thoughts and fears and be able to call yourself out so that you can get back to this place of neutral energy so that you can get back to this place of peace within and you can be with your person. It's yeah. not for your person. We don't, we're not doing this just so you can no. use your twin flame. We're doing this so we can raise your levels of consciousness so you can ascend with us. Because the mm -hmm. more and more you ascend, the more and more we're all contributing to this mass collection of raised consciousness it's like that's our gift back to the universe by what we've been gifted with this awakening mm -hmm. we always want to share with you the truths of this connection no matter how hard no matter how much it hurts no matter how much the mind wants to hear the other way when we get calls from clients that's saying hey can i call them can i can i contact a third party that we're both communicating with can i message them please can i go see what they're doing we're always gonna say no <laughs> right away too not even like oh no yes no 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 because we don't want you to leak we don't want you to push we don't want you to be in addictive energy we want you with your twin flame we want you to be in the state where your person can be in your space and what did that look like it's balanced. What does that look like? It's being. What does that look like? No doing. Surrender. We're sharing the same message with you multiple times in different ways to allow the mind to release, let go, and to keep shifting into soul. This is a safe place for you to keep releasing, letting go of the mind, the addictive energy, and allowing you to be in the space of soul. This is union energy, my love. This is gold nugget truths being shared with you however way it needs to be shared even if it hurts this is tough love at, at its finest because we love all of you especially this beautiful soul we love you so much we want you to be able to see when you're in mind we want you to be able to see when you are going back to soulmate template looking at your person separate and we want you to get back into the spiritual badass soul that you are all of you Get back into the space of soul where you are. Infinite, whole, complete, need nothing. And that is the space where you are your twin flame and are everything. We love you guys so much. We hope you have an amazing day.